The old women, true, English is not my first country language so sorry if I spell something wrong. Im from Denmark and are still 13 years old. Im was 13 years old when this happened to me, so I live in Denmark and my grandma lives in Lithuania, so every summer me and my mom take a trip over to her and live in our apartment, my mom and I live in another apartment, then my grandma does. So I was playing with my two friends from Lithuania, they were 9 and 5 years old, so they couldn't speak so much English as I could, but we were playing with a ball at 10 pm, then a old women start walking over to a bench and start staring at us, I didn't think much of it, so I didn't tell my friends. Then she stands up and start coming towards us, my friends start looking at her, they run up to the door to their apartment section and hold the door open for me. They start scream that I should come over to them, I don't know what to do. So I run in a circle to see if the old woman is following me, and the next thing made me run over to my friends, she started smiling and stare into my eyes, I started running over to my friends looking behind if the woman was following me, and she was still following me with that creepy smile. We locked the door then run up the stairs and looked out the window to see if the women were there, but she had disappeared, we waited at the stairs because she had maybe waited behind the door, because you could not see them from the window. While we were waiting they told me that the women had killed a kid in the neighborhood, it was about time for me to go home, so I opened the door and looked out the door to see if there were anyone, but there wasn't anybody. So I started run up to my apartment section and tried unlocking the door, but it didn't work I started hearing someone walking towards me, I tried again, and this time it worked, I started to run up to my apartment door, and unlock it with my key I got in and locked the door. My mom was sleeping, and I didn't want to wake her up to tell her about what happened, because she had been really tired today, so I figured out that I would just tell her about it in the morning. So I made something to eat out of the fridge while eating I stuck my head outside the window as it is night, and like looking at the stars, I stay there and eat for around 5 minutes, then look down because I was done eating, but when I looked down I saw a woman under a tree. She stared at me with these eyes that she wanted to kill me, I froze, I didn't know what to do as I was only 13, I took the kitchen knife and had it on me the rest of the night, and checked again if the door was looped it was. So I went to bed opening the door to my bedroom, so I could look at the door to see if anyone was trying to get in. The time went by and I couldn't fall asleep, then I heard three knocks at the door I slowly started walking over to the door, white I was out of my room, the floor started creaking I walked over to the door very slowly, I had the kitchen knife in my hat if I would need it, I looked out the peep hole. I didn't see anything then I come out of nowhere and start into my eye, I said if she would be here in one minute I would call the cops. I didn't know if she would understand what I was saying, because most of the people that live around here cannot speak English, so I walked into my mom's bedroom looking if she had woken up after I started screaming at the women, but she was still sleeping. I walked over to my bedroom and got up in my bed, I stayed in my bed for almost two hours afraid to sleep because I was scared that the women would try to break in, if I would fall asleep, I looked at my phone to see what the time was it was 3 am. I was about to fall to sleep when the door handle started to try to open, but it just went up and down as the women behind the door was trying to open the door, I just stayed there, it kept going up and down for 10 minutes, then it stopped. I must have fallen asleep because the next thing I remember was me waking up, and my mom had made some breakfast for me. While we were eating I told her about what happened to me, she didn't believe me, and just said that I have had a nightmare. Nothing ever happened again with that woman, but it still freaks me out what happened that night. You are maybe thinking that I am stupid, why I didn't call the cops, but if I would call the cops, I couldn't speak with them as they don't know how to speak in English, and I couldn't speak Lithuania. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video hit that like button to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.